Okay, I want to give you a quick overview on how to use Logger Pro. First thing you want to do is change the title of the X and Y columns in your data set. You double click on the X and you title it. So in this case it's time worked. Short name T, units, hours. Okay, when you're done you hit done. You'll notice it just reverted to the short name. If you want to see the full name you just pull it out a little wider so that the entire name fits in the column. We then rename the Y column and in this case it's salary and the units is dollars. After you rename your two column headings you then type in your data and I'm going to enter in all the X data first and the Y data second. Okay, once your data is all entered, you'll see your graph. You'll notice that your last data point is barely visible. You should always set your manual scale. So on my y-axis, I'm going to go up to 350. My highest value for my data point is 300. And on the x-axis, I'm going to make it 25 since my highest value is, is 20. Okay, once you have your data points in there, you want to check to make sure that your point symbols are active and your connecting points are not. You also can give it a title. So in this one it's salary versus time worked. Okay, once you have all that ready, you're ready to do your most important part which is analyze. And since this is a linear graph, I can just pick linear fit and get an equation showing up for my graph. Salary equals 15 times time plus zero. Okay, you want to make sure that you um, change your x and y variables into the actual variables. So on the y axis is salary and on the x axis is time. If it was not a linear graph, then when you go to analyze, you pick curve fit. There's many options here, but only a few of them that you'll ever be using. So the first option is proportional. You can use that for a linear graph that goes through zero, like this one. You also could pick linear, and that will give you a y-intercept. And even if your y-intercept is zero, you can still use this, and it will figure out for you that the y-intercept is zero. The next few graph types you can skip. You're not ever going to get those. The next one you want to go to is variable power. Variable power, the two powers we'll be using will be 0.5, and that's for a square root graph, or a power of 2 for a squared graph. The next graph that you might pick will be inverse. Okay, and inverse is when the y values drop as the x values increase. So in summary, the graph types you might use are inverse, variable power with either a 2 or a 0.5, linear or proportional. If your data shows no relationship, then when you go to analyze, pick statistics and write down the mean value. And that's the summary that you need for Logger Pro.